Well, 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 Frump. It looks like you done did it this time, huh? Whole players. According to reports, Fulton County may hit Frumpy Doe with the RICO charges. Y'all go ahead and grab your tea and have a seat. Let's talk about it. So, baby, this morning, Guardian dropped a bombshell report, honey. And they say, according to two people briefed on the matter, the Fulton County District Attorney that's investigating Frumpy Dump's efforts to overturn the 2020 election results in Georgia, Georgia, may have developed evidence to charge a sprawling racketeering indictment next month. Oh, yes, 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 honey. We talking about RICO charges. Now, baby, this is the first time that the district attorney has said that she's been weighing racketeering charges in this criminal investigation. But these new details about the direction and scope of the case come as prosecutors are expected to seek indictments starting in the first two weeks of August. As we all know, honey, last year, a special grand jury was convened and they heard evidence for seven months. And according to the jury's forewoman, they recommended charges charges for more than a dozen people, including Frumpy to the motherfucking dump. Now, on July 11th, they convened a regular grand jury, and we all know that they have to do that if they want to secure any type of indictments. Now, the specific evidence that they're using was not clear, but we all know that that special grand jury heard Frumpy Dump's conversations with Secretary of State Brad Rassenberg, where he told him to find 11,780 votes. But in order for her to hit him with the RICO, honey, she has to come stronger than that. And they said that they may use evidence that those uh, voting machines were breached in Coffee County. The breach of the voting machines involved a group of Frumpy Dump operatives paid for by Frumpy Dump's Cracker Jack Box attorney, Sidney Powell. And according to this, they accessed the voting machines at the county's election office and copied sensitive voting system information. Those operatives then took that information and uploaded it to a password-protected site from where election deniers could download the material as a part of misguided evidence effort to prove that the 2020 election had been rigged. Now, even though Coffee County is outside of the jurisdiction, Georgia's racketeering statute would allow prosecutors to also charge what the Frumpy Dub operatives did there by showing it was all aimed at one goal, which was to keep Frumpy Dub in office. I declare, honey, what a disgrace. And also another L for Frumpy Dump, honey, Judge Cannon has scheduled Frumpy Dump's classified documents trial for May of 2024. Now, as we know, honey, Frumpy Dump was trying to push the trial until after the presidential election. And it could still happen with motions and things like that. But baby, this is an L, honey, because Judge Cannon set that trial date for May 20th of 2024. And don't forget, we're still waiting on charges for January 6th. Child, I love this form. Players, put your thoughts in the comments.